Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, bringing you another deep dive into the world of travel, culture, and, let's face it, the good, the bad, and the downright quirky. Today, we're spinning the globe and landing in Thailand, the land of smiles, and dissecting its reputation as a gay travel destination. Buckle up, folks, because we're in for a wild ride with more twists than a Bangkok back alley. First things first, Thailand is known for its breathtaking beaches, mouth-watering cuisine, and a nightlife that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. But beyond the postcard perfect scenes, there's a layer many don't talk about, especially when it comes to the LGBTQ community. So, let's peel back the curtain, shall we? We're starting with the good. Thailand, especially places like Bangkok and Phuket, is celebrated for its vibrant gay scene. Bars, clubs, spas, you name it, they've got it. It's like Disneyland for adults, but with more neon lights and less Mickey Mouse. The Thai people are famously hospitable, and in many ways, they're quite open-minded when it comes to sexuality. I mean, the country hosts one of Asia's biggest pride parades, so they must be doing something right, right? But here's where the plot thickens. Despite the surface-level acceptance, Thailand's legal stance on LGBTQ rights is, let's say, a bit behind the times. Same-sex marriage? Not legal. Anti-discrimination laws? As rare as finding a quiet street in Bangkok during rush hour. It's a classic case of, you can look, but you can't touch, when it comes to legal protections. Now, let's chat about the not-so-fun part, the stereotypes and the exploitation. Thailand's gay scene, while vibrant, often gets pigeonholed into this exotic, almost fantasy-like narrative. It's like everyone expects every gay man in Thailand to be a cabaret performer or a go-go dancer. Newsflash, folks, they're not. Plus, the hypersexualization of Asian men in the gay community? That's a real issue and not just in Thailand. It's like if I had a dollar for every time someone mentioned, Thai boy bars, I could probably buy one of those bars. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about the pink dollar or how the LGBTQ plus community spending power is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it's great for the economy. On the other, it sometimes leads to businesses exploiting the gay scene just for profit. Like, hey, let's slap a rainbow on this and call it gay friendly, even if we don't really care about LGBTQ plus rights. Classic capitalism with a side of rainbow, anyone? Now, let's not forget about the expat and tourist perspective. Thailand is a hotspot for gay travelers, but sometimes there's this bubble. Like, if you're in the right spots, it's a gay paradise, but step outside, and it's a different story. It's a bit like having a VIP pass to a club. Awesome inside, but what about the rest of the street? And here's a curveball for you. The local LGBTQ plus community's experience can be quite different from what tourists see. For many Thai LGBTQ plus individuals, especially those from more traditional or rural areas, the struggle is real. Family acceptance, societal pressures, you name it. Just because there are glittering gay bars in Bangkok doesn't mean life's a party for every gay person in Thailand. Now, let's talk about visibility. In Thailand, visibility for the LGBTQ plus community is a double-edged sword. On one hand, you've got these flamboyant, larger-than-life characters in media and entertainment. Think drag queens with more sparkle than a disco ball at a 70s party. They're celebrated, loved, and they bring in the crowds. But here's the kicker. While these figures are embraced, they're often typecast into specific roles that don't necessarily reflect the diversity of the gay community. It's like, sure, you can be gay, but only in the way we want you to be. Talk about a narrow stage to perform on. But let's not forget about the elephant in the room. Or should I say, the beauty pageant on the stage? Thailand is famous for its transgender beauty pageants, which are absolutely fabulous, by the way. But sometimes, this leads to a misconception that being gay in Thailand is all about glitz and glam. Newsflash. Not every gay person in Thailand is vying for a crown. There's so much more to the community than what's seen on the runway. Speaking of misconceptions, let's debunk a big one. The idea that Thailand is this utopian safe haven for the gay community. Yes, it's more open than many places, but it's not without its issues. For instance, did you know that LGBTQ plus individuals in Thailand still face significant challenges in the workplace? It's like having to navigate a minefield of discrimination while trying to juggle your work duties. And let's not even start on the lack of legal protections. It's a bit like playing a game where the rules aren't exactly in your favor. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the grassroots movements in Thailand. These are the unsung heroes, the activists and organizations working tirelessly for LGBTQ plus rights. They're fighting the good fight, trying to make Thailand not just a great place to party, but also a place where rights and protections aren't just a pipe dream. Shout out to these warriors. They deserve all the pad thai and mango sticky rice in the world. But here's a twist. While we're all about celebrating the LGBTQ plus community, let's not forget about the cultural nuances. Thailand has a rich, complex history, and understanding the cultural context is key. It's not just about importing Western ideas of gay rights, it's about finding a balance that respects Thai culture while pushing for progress. It's a delicate dance, kind of like trying to balance on a tuk-tuk during rush hour. So, as we wrap up this journey into the heart of Thailand's gay scene, what's the final verdict? 
Thailand is a land of contrasts, where the vibrant gay scene coexists with a backdrop of legal and societal challenges. It's a place where you can dance the night away under neon lights, but also a place where the fight for equality and acceptance is ongoing. In the end, Thailand as a gay destination is a bit like a spicy Thai curry, complex, layered, and not for the faint of heart. But for those willing to look beyond the surface, it's a place of incredible beauty, resilience, and, yes, a bit of fabulousness. Thanks for joining me on this enlightening ride through Thailand's gay scene. Remember, travel is not just about the destinations, it's about the stories we uncover along the way. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and, most importantly, keep being your fabulous self. Until next time, this is your favorite globetrotting narrator, signing off. Sawazdi so Krub.